Hello friend, welcome back. In a previous video, I segment all the tower page in our this master blade. Okay, so here I included our top layout, navigation, header, and there is the EL part that means the content part. And I also update all that our um, CSS, JSS uh, file path. So here you can see I just updated with this asset. So that is our dashboard blade. And here I also updated the, our all that. Uh, all that asset part, there is a header part, and there is a navigation and the top. So here I already updated all that our CSS and the images also. And now we have to do, we have to make that find out our dynamic content. Like there is a yield here. I define one of the ideas a content. So now this part that means in our dashboard. So this dashboard part will be the dynamic, as I already told you. So this part will be the dynamic. So for the reasons we have to define uh, that content on here okay we have to create all of the section so before creating the section we have to in load our this master blade right i already discussed about that things with you when i discuss about in our font area so here i have to do the same things like first of all here i just want to extend okay extend and extend what extend our directory name so here i already created one of the directory as a master so this master blade that means here so i created that master in our admin then the layout and then the master so here i just define that directory first of all i just define that as a admin and then i define as a layout and then our page name as a master so here i just define the master and then what exactly we have to do we have to actually there is our main dynamic part and here i just put the things as a yield and here i just define that content so now i just want to create one of the section for this one so for here i just create at the red and i just define that section okay i just define that section and here the section name will be our el id name so that means this contains so here i just define that content on particular this area and also we have to do we have to finish that section so it should be finished after that and so that is actually the position so here i just and section okay here i and that section so i hope it should be very much clear to you what exactly the things i want to do so for now in our this position that means in our el this position all the dynamic content which is actually added that section as a content so all that content part will be load on particular this area okay so for now if i just want to make this dashboard as a dynamic for the reasons i just include as a section this one so now we have to update our route so here in our route so that is actually the folder i will discuss about that things with you there is a main root directory and then that is actually the routes and here there is a web.php so now i want to create one of the route for our backend and here they have another route method uh, like the one of the route method as a group route method so here i want to add that things for our our backend like here i just define the route okay here i just define the route and here there is another method as a group so i just define that group and into this position i have to define one of the things like i just want to define the prefix okay prefix means what exactly that name you want to access so here I just define that as a prefix. Okay. And here I just want to define prefix as it should be name as a back. So here I just define that name. Okay. So here I just define that name as a back. And then into this position, I also want to do another things. Like here I want to add one of the callback on particular dispositions right now. Like here I just define that function. I just define the function and in our this function area i just create one of the callback uh, like here i just want to now create one of the route on particular disposition as a get route like as a route route and now here i just define that as a gate and gate first of all i just put that url okay so here first of all i just want to make the things as a in our admin they have also there is another root directories for the reasons i just defined that as a backslash and into this position i want to do i want to create one of the controller like i just name it as a dashboard dashboard controller and here in our dashboard controller i want to access one of the method so here i want to access one of the method as a index okay 
uh, there should be on the, the single cut okay and like here i just cut it and you know what single then you have to write down it so now i think it's very much clear to you here and now i want to create one of the controller and into this controller i will create one of the method as index method and into the index method i will actually add some of the function and i also want to do another things like here if you go to the apps and into the app there is the xtdp and here there is our controller so for the admin okay because we will also work for our admin so for the reasons we will also need some of the controller for our admin area so better i just want to create another folder for all that controller that means admin related controller will be i just want to insert that things on here for the reasons i just define as i want the folder name as the admin and here i just define that on particular disposition okay that means in our controller area he will be created another folder as an admin and all that admin related controller will be saved into this folder so i hope you can well understand about it and now here also we have to add the semicolon so now let's create one of the controller so for doing this i think it's very much clear to you right now that is our directory and here i just write down as a cmd so into this position i want to create one of the controller with this name so here i better i just put it bit on here so now we have to define the php and the artisan okay php artisan and then make and make the controller controller and here i want to create one of the folder directory as an admin and here after that i want to create our outer name so that is a dashboard dashboard controller okay so this type of controller i just want to create now i just click on the enter so here our controller created successfully and now if you go to the controller here you can see there is a controller he created one of the folder as the admin and into the admin so that is our controller name so i hope you can well understand about it so for right now i want to do here i just define that is our controller name and into the controller i want to access one of the method as the index so right now i have to do i have to create this method and you know what this gate here you can see there is i'm missing one of the semicolon so here i just put one of the semicolon on particular disposition and now in our dashboard here i just want to create one of the method as a public and then function and then index so i just want to create one of the index method and into the index method here i just all want to return okay i just want to return then view so i already discussed about that things with you which page you want to view so for now i just want to view uh to our if you go to this view page there is an admin and in our admin there is one of the page as a dashboard so i want to load that page so i just define the directory as the admin and then I just put the dot and our page name as a dashboard. Okay, I just define the dashboard on particular disposition. And then the semicolon. And now let's check this out. What exactly it should look like in you know, what that is our prefix. Okay, here I just define that as a back. So now I just click on the save all. And if you now go here, so that is our main directory. So first of all, I just refresh that page. And now here I want to access our back. So here I just define the back and click on the enter. Yes, you can see it's now perfectly loaded on particular disposition. So here I just define that uh, on here. There is a back. I just added the prefix as a back. So for the reasons in our directory, that means in our main directory, here I assign one of the controller. And into the controller, I just assign one of the page. So for the reasons when you add as a bag then this our admin panel is loaded on particular disposition and also there is a logo so logo is missing so that is in our sidebar maybe i didn't add this so if you go to the navigations bar and here you will get that logo so you can see i didn't actually add that for adding it like uh, i just copy it okay i just copy something from here and now in our disposition navigation here i just paste it so now that is the images and the logo so here i cut it and after that admin then actually it should be our image okay image and the image logo too so that one is the logo one better i just copy it again and here i just paste it and then after that images i just cut it and here i just paste that thing some particular disposition okay so now let's check this out i just click on the save all and if we now refresh that page again Yes, our logo is now added on here. 
So I think you can well understand about it, how can do that work. I just segment all the page, page as is navigation, header part, and there is our main dynamic part, that means the content part. I create one of the master blade, and here I just create one of the controller, and the controller just assign one of the page on particular disposition as a, this dashboard page. And here I just added the prefix as a back. So for the reasons in our main root directory here, if you click as a back, then it should be directed to our admin panel. So step by step, we will do a lot of the work in our admin panel. So keep watching and keep learning. I will see you in the next video.